Create Studio 3.0 review. Hey guys, it's Shan from InkeAcademy.com and welcome to my Create Studio 3.0 review. Now, Create Studio 3.0 is the latest version of Create Studio. That is, it is after Create Studio and Create Studio Pro and it comes with some amazing, amazing feature. Today in this video, I'm going to go through all of them and I'll be also showing you my special custom bonuses and a special deal that you can have for this Create Studio 3.0 review. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this Create Studio 3.0 review. So in a nutshell, Create Studio 3.0 is the only video creating software that you need for your YouTube, your VSLs or for your promotional videos. It can have doodle sketching properties for images, videos, text or even characters. It can actually define part of the doodle drawing as well. You can actually go ahead and create your own custom characters with the help of it as well. Plus it has got its camera angle so that you can zoom and pan as well. And you can play around with the scenes with the different camera angles. Plus, the best part with Create Studio 3.0 is that it has given you the flexibility to create your own character so that you can create pixel level videos in minutes. You can choose from done for you templates or you can pick a character and then you can customize it with all that you need with different attacks, different looks, different facial expressions. You can also go ahead and change the colors. You can also do lip syncing with done for you voiceover as well. So that's the best part that Create Studio 3.0 has. Apart from that, it also has got a great template library with which you can create anything and everything, right? Now, the best part, it's trusted by over 35,000 business owners worldwide with over 1,200 five-star reviews on different platforms like Captera. You can find their reviews on Trustpilot. You can find them on G2 and wherever you want to. And personally, I have been using it for over four years now, and it has evolved a long way. So now in this little Create Studio 3.0 review, I'm going to go through some amazing features that it has. Now, remember, it's a vast tool, so I can't really go through all the features. But what I'll do is that I'll link the other videos in the description. If you need to check them out, you can do that as well. With that being said, without further ado, let's jump inside of Create Studio 3.0. Hey, so welcome to this Create Studio 3.0 review and as you can see I'm within the dashboard of Create Studio 3.0 and this is how the UI looks like currently right now there are a ton of templates as you can see over here you can find them all over here as well you can just go in the side of the templates and from here you can find the character explainer templates promotional templates business related templates and whatnot now remember I am on the front end of the account right I've not upgraded my account just to show you what all you can get even if you are on the front end only which costs you only $67 one time price now with that being said if you actually go ahead and subscribe to the all access plan you are going to get much much more as well I'll come to that in a later point within this video with that being said I don't want to waste your on my time in getting all of these I just wanted to show you how amazing this is so for this I'll go over to a project that I've created here you can see the beach scene uh, so if I click on that, it will actually load the project for me. So let me first explain what the project is and then I'll actually show you how to create this from a scratch. So here you can see what has happened. There is a beach little background, right? And in here I have incorporated two characters and those characters would actually talk to each other. They will face each other and it was a complete storyline. So let us play this. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Lenka. Are you crazy? Not at all. As you can see over here, there is a complete lip sync as well. So now that this lady is uh, pointing to her watch and telling this guy okay, to go off and then he is pushing her. So that's how this whole thing pans out. So in this little thing, you have seen a few things. Number one is that uh, I had introduced two characters which I had actually customized, right? I had customized their outfits, uh, the way they look, their accessories, everything. Then I had also made a point where they were actually looking at each other. If you go over here, there you can see I would made the character turn to the other one so that it feels more realistic, right? And then the best part over here is that there was a lip syncing. Now, up to Create Studio Pro, there was no lip syncing. Although you could have given a voiceover, but lip syncing was absent over there, right? And you couldn't create your own custom characters but now you can right so this is the thing that we are going to create right now and while we create i'm going to show you how to do the stuffs as well so let's jump inside so for this we'll head over to this create studio and go for a new project and in here as you can see it's blank so we'll go over to background and from here we need to select a background so let's search and there you can see this is the beach background that we had used. So let's drag this. Now, in Create Studio 3.0, you can directly drag elements into timeline as well. So that's another new feature of Create Studio 3.0. But that being said, now once this is done, we'll just go back to the studio. And in here, we have this 3D creator, right? So we can click on that. And here you can see all genders and all age group covered, right? So first, let us introduce Tom. So let's just drag him in here. 
Now, once we have done that, on this right hand side, you can see we have got a pane, right? And in here, there is a thing called customize. Now, within customize, you can go ahead and customize anything, right? The top, you can change it to anything you want. I'm going to give him a beach attire, right? Then I can also change the bottom as well. So let's again convert it into a beach avatar. I can also give it a sunglasses if I want to, that is. So that's quite cool. Now, apart from that, I can go ahead and change the facial hair as well. I can change the hairstyle. I can give them any kind of look that I want to on my avatar. I want my avatar to resemble that look. So I can do that as well, right? I can give them accessories, anything that we like, say a headphone, right? I can also change the color of everything, like from skin, hair, eyes, top, bottom, whatever. Say, for example, this um, bottom color, I want this to change. So there you go. That's as easy as it can be. So if you have a brand color, you can stick to that as well. Now you can even go ahead and change the shoes color, the glasses color, the backpack color, the headphone color, everything. So no matter how many objects are there over this scene, you can change the color of each and everything, right? So that's another brand new feature in Create Studio 3.0. Now that being said, if you want this character to be used regularly, say for example, this is your brand character which you want to use frequently for all other purposes that you have, all that you need to do is come over to this character, click on this, right click and click on save as preset. Now once you do that, on this preset, this character would be available, right? So whenever you want to reuse this character, you don't need to go for the design once more. It's just one click. So that's a great time saver according to me and a great thumbs up for this little feature. With that being said, that's how this character can be created. Now in the similar way, I'm going to bring in a female character as well and quickly customize it. Now, as you can see over here, I have got the two characters, right, loaded over here. So now what I want to do is that I want to give it a feeling like this character, that is the lady was in the scene and this guy actually walks in, right? So for that, what I need to do is that I need to select Tom and then I need to click on this actions or I can come over here as well and click on actions. And in here, I need to just go down and select an action called walking. So instead of idle, I will just go ahead and change it to walking, right? So now, as you can see, Tom would be walking. So if I play this now, you can see Tom is walking, right? But the thing is that you can see Tom is walking at the same place, right? So I want Tom to actually change their position. So for that, I'll again select Tom and go over to add animation. And in here, I'll add a position animation. As soon as I do so, I will get two points over here. Well, this point will denote the initial position, right? And this point will denote the final position. So on the initial position, I want Tom to be outside of the frame, just like this, right? And then on the final position, that is this, I want Tom to be here. So now if I actually go ahead and play this, you can see it has a nice little walking thing over here, right? So now the walk ends over here. So let's adjust this timeline like this, right? And in here, this female character, this was ideal initially, right? But once she sees this guy walking, she would be like talking something, being surprised, like how come you are here or something like that. So what I'll do is that I'll just go over to this character over here and in here, I'll add a new action and let it be surprised, right? So now if we play this, you can see the lady is surprised by the arrival of this guy. But one thing I want to do over here is that this lady should actually turn around to the guy, right? So whenever people speak normally, they actually look to the person. So this is not coming right now. So for this, again, Create Studio 3.0 has introduced a new character animation. So if I go over here and click on Add Animation, I can have this character view. So if I click on that, you can see again two points coming up. So on the second point, I will just come over here on the second point. I'll go over to the rotate. And what this allows is that this allows this character to rotate just like this. So now if we play this, you can see the girl has rotated, right? Now, in the same way, I need this uh, guy to rotate as well because he's rotating forward. He's actually looking forward. So from this point, I want this uh, guy character actually to rotate as well. So I'll again go over to the character view, click on rotate, and I would rotate this character as well, just like this. So now if we play this, you can see this guy has also rotated, right? So now they are actually face to face and now I can actually import dialogues on them as well. So with that being said, um, in here I want to add a new action because this guy is actually going off. So let's add another action and let us keep it idle. So now if we actually play this, you can see it's much more realistic. So now what we can do is that we can go ahead and incorporate dialogues on them. Like once this guy has come up over here, this uh, lady is surprised. So in here, what we can do is that we can come over to this music and in here we can go for speech. 
Now, if you are having an all access plan, you can actually go for the AI voiceover, which is more or less human sounding. But even if you don't have the all access plan, even if you are on the front end itself, then also you can use the Google voices. And in here, let's type a dialogue. Maybe the girl is asking like, what are you doing here? So what we want to do over here is that we want to change the voice over to a female version. Generic speech, we need to just uh, keep hearing like which one sounds the best. Also, you can go over and record your own voices as well. That's also a perfectly doable thing over here. Now, that being said, you can preview you the voice. Here? What are you doing here? And once happy with it, you can just click on import and it would be imported to your project. Now, once that is done, you can just drag it within the timeline where you want to. So like the lady surprised over here. So here in I can add this. Now, once I've done this, let me play and show what are you. What you doing here? So in here, you can see there is no lip movement of the lady. So for that, we just need to right click on this and go for sync. Now, depending on whose dialogue it is, we need to sync it with that character. So that since it's a female character, so we'll sync it with Linka. Now, once we have done that, if we play this now, you can see the here? lips would be actually moving. So that's quite amazing. Now, that being said, in the same way, we can give voiceover to Tom as well. And we can just go over here. And this time we can actually find something like, like I'm going for a walk, right? And in here, I need to change this to a male voiceover. So let's do that quickly. Jared speech. Once done, we can just import that and it would be available over here. Now we can actually drag it on here and we can lip sync it with Tom as well. So now once we have done that, if we play this. What are you doing here? I'm going for a you walk. You can see when they are actually talking, their lips are moving. So that's quite amazing. Now, with that being said, I had actually shown you another feature that it has, which is the camera. And for that, we just need to go over to this effects and components. And in here, we need to go over to the component. And in here, we have this camera. So we can drag this camera into the scene and leave it like this, right? You can see here in there is a camera track that has been created. Now, the place where we want to add a character, a camera animation, all that we need to do is right click on the timeline and click on add animation. Animation. Say, for example, in this point, I want to actually what zoom into here? these characters. So what I can do is that I can just go over this camera and click on this camera. This will give us the scene. And in here, let's zoom in. We can place it perfectly as well. Now, let me show you the effect that it has. So if we take a preview, what are you, you can see here, here, it's I'm nicely zooming in. And you can see that the leap movements are also very much visible since it's zooming in. So let me show you this again. What are you so doing? So there here? you can see the lip syncing is perfect, right? Now with that being said, we need to zoom out as well. So for that, I'll add another character, a camera animation. And this time we'll zoom out quickly. So I'll make this camera shorter. And then I'll go over to this camera. And I will actually make it full screen. Boom, it's done. So now if we play this again, what are you, doing you can here? see I'm going for a walk and there is the zoom out. So in this way, you can use the camera as well. With that being said, that's only a part of it. I just wanted to, you to know all the different new features like character builder, where you can build your custom characters. You can give them whatever you want to. You can add whatever accessories you want to change the colors. You can change the skin tone and everything you wish to. Secondly, I wanted to show you the rotate thing. That is the char character rotation that can give you the one of the most realistic feelings while you do character animated videos amazing features that were pre-existing like the camera then there's a doodle effect then there's the wobble head effect right all of that i'll link in the description below so that if you want to check out those you can do that as well apart from that it has also got you covered with uh, some brilliant new things like they're done for you templates there is this lip sync feature that was long awaited in create studio and it has been implemented in create studio 3.0 so if you go by my perspective now it's a complete tool to have you can do whatever you wish to and it has a very very small learning curve as well but the things that you can do with it is amazing and literally infinite the possibilities are endless right now with that being said if you really want to jump inside of create studio 3.0 then below in the description you can find the link to my bonus page if you click on that you would be taken over to my bonus page which looks like this and in here if you scroll through this you can find any and every features that create studio 3.0 has and you can find all the things that you are going to get with create studio 3.0 you are going to get the scroll stoppers you can go, you are going to get the 2d explainer video set as well with which you can create this kind of 2d videos apart from this you are going to get bobble heads as i already told you you are going to get doodle maker you are also going to get this video ad promo pack and the clay scene builder as well 
apart from this, you are going to get my custom bonuses as well, which are some premium, premium software in terms of video marketing, in terms of affiliate marketing. You are going to get some amazing, amazing software that can really help you with a ton of graphics, with a ton of video building, website building, academy builder. You are going to get done for you courses and many other stuff. Now, I can't really go through all of them over here because there are hundreds of bonuses that you can have. So what I do leave you is just go down on the link is to just go down on the description link below click the link to my bonus page head over to my bonus page everything about all of my bonuses are written on my bonus page just go through that if you have any questions you can always reach out to us on this whatsapp number that you can see on the screen below with that being said all of these bonuses could be yours even if you pick up only the front end of create studio 3.0 which is going to cost you only about 67 dollars and the best part over here is that it gives you unlimited video creation with 4k rendering quality as well all of that at the one time price of 67 dollars only if you go for other competing tools like animaker or animoto you need to spend a lot of money per month to keep the access over here here there is no credits no monthly payment nothing at all you can get everything at a one time price so it's a greatly suggested tool to have in your toolkit with that being said again uh, the last decision is up to you if you really want to pick this up then just go down on the description link below click the link to my bonus page head over to my bonus page check for yourself for the kind of bonuses that you are going to have and once you are happy with it you can scroll all the way down and click on any of these red buttons to go over to the create studio 3.0 sales page that looks like this make sure that you get inside of create studio 3.0 because this is the newest and the best version of create studio that you can have with that being said in here you can go through all of this everything is written over here you can see all the different ratings that it has got right and once you are happy with it you can come over here and click on any of these buy now buttons and get access to create studio 3.0 for a one time price with that being said it's an absolute no-brainer if you go by my recommendation and it's a great one to have now there is an order bump which actually gives you 1800 plus music cracks and this can really make your video stand out as well. It comes with an order bump of $37. If you wish to pick it up, you can do that as well. So that brings me to an end of this Create Studio 3.0 review and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, help me with a like and let me know in the comment section if you have got any questions regarding any part of this Create Studio 3.0 review. So with that being said, I'll take your permission to leave for now and we'll come back pretty soon and meet you again somewhere over the internet. Until then, Please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online. Signing off is Shine from Inca Academy. Take care. Bye-bye.